welcome to Andy's little sci-fi horror show. It's Andy's little ten-minute movie note to the rest of the world. I'm Drew, and I'm joined here by the host, Andy. And today, we're talking about something that you should know about. Something very dangerous out there. Killer ants. In particular, killer ant movies. Killer ant movies, they have a very large genre. A genre that you should know about. Why don't you start them off by telling them about one of the rules uh... Let's begin. As we said before, we're talking about killer ants. Now we can't start talking about any killer ant movies without starting from the beginning, as far as ant movies go as I'm concerned. Yep. Which is 1954. Them! Wait a minute! What are you doing out here, honey? Honey? What's your name? Who do you belong to? direction of the President of the United States. Stay in your homes, I repeat. Stay in your homes. Your personal safety, the safety of the entire city, depends upon your full cooperation with the military authorities. Now this movie is interesting for a couple of things. It happened in an era uh, where the, it was the 1950s and they didn't do a lot of horror movies because um, the, the country was still kind of shocked after World War II, after all the stuff that had happened. But the, this particular movie has a long-standing impact. In fact, if you go to the Universal Studios City Walk, there's actually a store in there called Them. And it's named after the movie. Mm -hmm. And you, it's like a knick-knack store. It's kind of like uh, the sister store of Things from Another World on the opposite end of the uh, City Walk. Universal Studios still acknowledges this film to this day. And I watched it not that long ago, and it really... It, it holds true. It, it's got believable-ish giant ants. I mean, as believable as a giant ant can be. Well, the fact that this film is over 60 years old mm. and still is regarded as probably one of the best science fiction movies of all time really says something. Now, going on to the 1970s, we're going to go fast forward a little bit here. Yeah. This next film that we're going to talk about is a little bit different. It's a little bit more surrealistic. Uh, kind of like if Pink Floyd made a movie about ants? Yeah. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, I give you phase four. In the next few moments, we will try to give you an impression of a new kind of film experience. If your curiosity is aroused, you are ready for phase four. Sending back my message. What does it mean? This is no message. If there's an intelligence there, I want it to know there's an intelligence here. How do you fight a force that knows what your next move will be before you think of it? That was an interesting trailer. That was uh, something else. <laughs> My apologies to all those out there who have a little bit of an epileptic seizure mentality. I it, it started out weird, yeah. got, then it got normal, then it got weird again. I thought it was going to take a trip. Moving on to yet another classic ant movie. Empire of the Ants. 
Of all history's prophets, none has a greater degree of credibility than H.G. Wells with his predictions of moon landings, ray guns, sonic signaling devices. Is Wells right again in his prediction of dangers to come in Empire of the Ants? In this fantastic tale, Wells tells the chilling story of a colony of ants who feed on atomic waste, causing them to grow into large, voracious monsters. Let's get out of here! Come on! And these giant ants are actually able to control humans. The ants only want us to take care of them and work for them, feed them. That's the way it should be. They are superior. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen this film. I was actually working in the video store in the early 90s last time I saw this movie, but it stayed with me till this day that when we said, hey, we're going to do an episode about killer ant movies, and I said, well, we have to have Empire of the Ants. Oh, yeah. H.G. Wells' classic story brought to life. In 1970s goodness. Yes, 1977. <laughs> this is, uh, keep in mind, this is the same year Star Wars came out. This is oh, one, yeah. of, one of many H.G. Wells stories of uh, animals taking over, giant ants, you know, food of the gods and other... Um, uh, books have been turned into movies. As far as ant invasions go, it's a little bit different. It's like you, you saw in the trailer. They start to control and colonize people for their work. Yeah. In, in essence, the people become the drones. Yes. The last feature brings us to the modern day. This is Glass Trap. They live among us. Have you seen Miguel? No. Oh, man. They feed on anything they can find. How about Charlie? You seen Charlie? And they're growing. Out of control. Now they're ready for business. Why don't you shoot those trees uh, right over there by the window? With some trying to get ahead. Working the weekend, Miss Highsmith? What's my matter, Sharon? If you don't come to work on Saturday, don't bother coming in on Sunday. Some to get a shot. I am Bob. We're here for the shoot. And the roof? And others just to get a paycheck. You work hard. You just might someday pick up one of these. For these weekend workers, Sorry, I didn't know anybody was here. The hardest job they'll have... Sharon, where the hell are you? ...is staying alive. <sighs> Screw you, Jiminy Cricket. Now... Sheriff Hansen? What can I do for you? Agent Lucera, USDA. A federal agent with a secret. The FBI was alerted that plutonium seal had been leaking. You're kidding me, right? Radioactive ants. We're bringing in a specialist. And a commando with an attitude. Evacuate the building, John. I believe we got a bug problem. Must destroy an enemy. How did it get that big? Maybe they work out. I'm just going to fill this place with enough DDT to flatten Texas. We're going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned bug barbecue. That knows no limits. We got some serious trouble in here. Can you just open a bank? Legion presents C. Thomas Howell in the Glass Trap. This movie is just plain, ridiculous fun. Pop your popcorn, get your drink, turn the lights down low, and get ready to laugh your ass off. Because this is the fact, the most impressive thing about this movie is that these people could keep a straight face while they were doing this. All right, well, that was some very, that was a killer ant movie there, wasn't it? Very much so. Yes. That's definitely really right. So if you see some color ants, all you got to do is make sure you poke him with a stake and he'll stay away from you. Isn't that right, Andy? That's correct. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. 